Hey yo, what's up guys, Luigi Strecker here, and today I am reacting to Camellia Cuevas' My Promise Glitch Tale Season 2 Episode 5. Holy crap, we have been waiting forever for this, and it's finally out. After six whole months of waiting, Camellia Cuevas has finally finished the animation for this ride, and I'm not right, oh, I'm being stupid, I'm messing up my words as usual, as I always do. Finally, I can finish this animation for the Amazing Glitch Tale series that I like so much. I even rewatched some of the episodes, too, before this, like, came out, and, I, and I'm really excited to see the new one. And, like, it's around, like, it's around 39 minutes long. The whole video is of 39 minutes uh, and 32 seconds long. It was literally all published today. I'm doing a reaction video today, and actually, I just, I just recently did, like, a Pokemon stream for trading, and I'm a little tired still, but I'm not, but I'm not that tired enough to watch this new episode that I've been waiting so long to wait for, and I'm not gonna wait till the next day to react to it. I want to react to it now. Because I'm really excited for this, and I really want to see this. So, yeah. And actually, it has, like, around 200,000 views already. Like, literally, I've been spending, like, out for around, like, at least five, five hours. So, before watching this, I make sure you watch the season one of Glitch Day on the previous ones. I'm just reading the description right now. Yep, reactors. You have to put the Camellia Cuevas symbol. What I'm actually going to do for the Camellia Cuevas, you just probably see, like, a symbol of Camellia Cuevas up before, like, the where I react to the video. That's going to be my kind of, like, symbol. But, like, yes, like, I put this symbol in there somewhere in the video. I can't, like, since, like, the editing software I use, like, the best editing software I can use right now is iMovie, so that's probably gonna be the best thing you can get. So, at least I showed the, like, um, Camille Cuevas logo. So, really, I don't have much to say. I just really want to watch this video, and I'm really excited that it finally came out. And without further ado, and sorry if, like, my reaction video isn't really the greatest since I am a little tired right now, but I'm still gonna try reacting the best I can. And since I also saw a lot of her animating streams, I know probably some parts that are gonna happen in anime stream and honest. also since I watched a trailer too I'm probably gonna know like when some of the stuff might happen. So I'm really excited to hear some more of the voice acting, see how uh, Camila Quifus did the amazing animation. So without further ado, it's time to watch season two glitch tale episode five and i think camila cueva said that like there's gonna be, be separated into two parts i'm not sure if it's like a full part because it doesn't say part two or something maybe that's gonna be like season two like episode six i'm not sure but i think this is probably just the whole episode so i'm really excited to see what happens because like also frisk in the last episode was like it, got, it left with the cliffhanger like the glitching hand and also like left to the cliffhanger that maybe we can try reviving sands and i'm really interested to see how that's gonna play out and see if it's gonna work or not because judging by, like, the anime stream that I saw, Gaster was not really having, um... Actually, I won't... Well, actually, I'm, since I'm really just saying it, I'm just gonna point it out. Like, Gaster, like, from, like, the anime streams that I saw, like... Even, like, I guess you can see in the trailer, like, how uh, Gaster was mad. You can maybe tell, like, Gaster was mad by, like, something that, like, was going wrong. So, I think maybe, like, what I'm predicting is that, like, also, like, myself from the drawing streams is... Like, when well, I'm really drawing streams, anime streams, I'm guessing Gaster is not really having much luck with Sans. So, I'm not sure if that's true, but that's just my theory, like, of what's happening. So, hopefully, my theory is right. And I think, definitely, I think we might see, like, a battling between Frisk and Betty. I'm not sure. And definitely other characters, too. But also, since I saw, like, a young Asgore in the trailer, um, too, so maybe we might see, like, a little backstory of Asgore, some kind of story or something. Alrighty, so I'm really hoping a lot for this episode. I'm just gonna stop talking now, and I really want to react to this without further ado. Let's react to this now, shall we? Let's begin and I'll hopefully have a nice volume for this if you haven't watched season if you haven't watched episode one i highly recommend that you watch this before but yeah i've seen this before Alrighty. i also highly recommend that you re-watch past episodes from this season to recap everything so far yep good idea he's even a pink smiley face Ooh, that probably represents betty i'm supposed to be feared the best ball I ever did. Oh, that scared me. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. Why am I the one who ends up running away? That is a good point. Why are you are the one running away? My souls are infected. How many souls are infected? Oh, I read that wrong. I'm sorry. Show them to me. I can get my voice for Betty. Here we go. Now let's see all the souls that are infected. I'm missing this from the trailer, I believe, a little bit of it. Uh, there's so many affected souls, I'm guessing Betty's not gonna be happy with that. Yeah, she does not have a happy face. No, Betty, don't do that. Oh, uh, no, she broke the heart. No. I won't use hate to win this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't want to use hate. I'll do it by myself, I'll make them fear me. Yeah, stop breaking the heart. You're, you're killing all the kids that you captured, man. I don't like that. Ooh, there's Azrael's soul of hate. Don't you dare, no, don't break the heart. I know, I, I believe she doesn't, but don't break the heart. No, 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 no. 
No, don't. No, why are you cracking it? You're so mean. Yeah, you, you should save that one. It's Azrael. Azrael will be powerful against like an enemy. Apparently, the green soul wasn't affected. That's interesting. I think that's the kid that was um, trying to save the sister. She didn't break it. Nice. This one will be enough. Keep that rainbow one and destroy the others, Kumo. Oh no, he destroyed his soul. Probably I like absorbed the energy. Interesting. Yeah, she's gonna put all the hate on it, I believe. Ooh, the glowing eye. Use some hate. Use some hate on him. <laughs> There's no way they'll do the same again. Ooh, they covered his whole soul with hate. I already looked into his memories. There's no one who can help him. <laughs> yeah, sorry if my voice is cracking with girls. I can't really do a girl, a girl's voice. I think it's time. <laughs> it doesn't matter if the humans see me the way I used to look at any, look anymore. It doesn't. I never got to use. I never got to use to be split in two, two anyways. Hmm. It was fun while it lasted. What? Why'd you do that to Kuma? Why are you stabbing yourself? I don't get it. Wait, you're, is Kumu possessing? What the heck? Well, that is extremely creepy. Uh, no, I don't like that. Betty, what the heck are you doing? Are you ready? We'll go hunt down the ones who hurt you so much. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's Azrael. Oh, Azrael. Oh, the pink glowing eye. No, I don't like that. No, Azrael. I definitely do a good boy's voice though, so expect me to do good at the boy's voice. Oh, look at the art, that's nice. Is that a broken door? Mm, the laser beam thing, mm, interesting. I forget what it's called though, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> don't feel bad. I don't blame you for what happened. None of us knew how to deal with this thing. I mean, not really any of you did. It's not only that undone. All I have done in my life is make mistakes. Not only that, but others end up paying the consequences of my actions. First my daughter, and then Sans, Dr. Gaster, and now Alphys too. I'm pretty sure Tadine is not uh, happy to hear about that. Alphys' death wasn't your fault, Jessica. Yes it was, if I hadn't dropped that black substance. It looks so good. That thing wouldn't have killed her. That thing didn't kill Alphys. Undyne did. Oh. I did. No. No, that can't be. It must have been a mistake. Like, <laughs> Undyne didn't mean to. It was. <laughs> I acted before thinking, and my attack hit her instead. It was Betty's power. How am I supposed to live with this guilt? You know, Undyne really liked Alphys. I just wanted to tell her I'm sorry. I wish there was some way she could. Please don't do this to yourself. Believe me, I know what it's like to live with an unbearable guilt in your heart. I guess uh, Jessica wouldn't understand it. Nobody deserves that, and certainly not you. Yeah, Don, you don't deserve that. You're a cool, you're a cool character. It's not gonna be easy, and you probably feel like you won't ever be able to move on from that. It hurts so much every time I think about it. It would hurt me too. I don't want to live in this pain, but I don't want to forget her either. I still like how Undyne's like eye looks up the eye patch. This is not about forgetting what happened. You have to accept how bad it feels so you can move on. I like how Jessica's giving the emotional talk. It took me 20 years to understand that and I led to hurt others in the process. Let me hurt others in the process. Don't let the same thing happen to The others must have come back. Give me a minute. Oh, okay. I wonder who the others are. Oh, I'm liking this episode so far. Mr. <laughs> Frank. Miss Toriel. Uh oh. I don't like that expression. Oh no. It's Betty's monster thing. Monster blobs. Uh oh. I'm dying. Uh oh. That's not good. All oh, they're breaking in the house. Oh no, the protective shield is not really working. Oh yeah, I used the AMR blaster thing. That's what it's called. Uh oh. No, Jessica. Hit it. Uh oh. Okay, hit that! Yeah, good job, Jessica. Oh, 
Oh yeah, there goes Undyne. Nice. Get those spears out. There are more of these things around the house. I know I'm not giving a good girl's voice, but I'm still like, still saying the lines. Nice. Stab that up in the air. Yeah, they're entering the house. Stay back. I'll handle this. Obviously, Undyne, the Undyne is more stronger, but it's still Undyne. Uh oh, there's a blob. Oh, the animation's so good. Nice. I love that. I love the sound effects too. It's really good. Uh oh. Uh oh, you're missing. Come on. Hit the blob, Jessica. I believe in you. Uh oh. Oh, why is her heart cracking? Oh no. I heard it. I'm done. Uh oh. No, she's gonna be scared to try hitting Jessica instead. I know that. Oh no, I'm dying. Oh yeah, I'm dying scared. She doesn't want what happened last time. Oh no, she's just living the memories again. No oh, one dies. Oh. oh no. Oh no. Please ask her was there in time. Hi. Um. Oh no, she stabbed Jessica. Toriel, attend Jessica wounds quick. Sorry for the background noises. Aww. Oh, poor Undyne. Oh no. <laughs> Jessica got stabbed. Miss Jessica, Jessica, wake up. Oh, look at Jessica. She's, she doesn't look good at all. Poor <laughs> Jessica. There we go, it'll be fine. I realized Jessica's hair wasn't even like the gray color that one part. As Gore, I need to go to my lab in the underground with papyrus and sands. Please go ahead. Come back up when you're ready. We all need to talk. Ooh, we get to see what Gaster's gonna do now. Papyrus, please follow me. I have a good papyrus mm. voice. Right behind you. Oh, he's holding sands. Nice. Oh, no, Frisk. Oh, Frisk is getting hurt. Oh, I saw that in the trailer. That was literally the first thing in the trailer, I believe. Oh, poor Frisk. Oh, I believe in you, Frisk. Sorry if my voice cracking is bad. I don't think you'll get better. Oh no, poor, poor Jessica. Huh? Oh, girl's phone. What's that? A little coloring. It's interesting. Probably like a little uh, score hair as I am. Howdy. Hey Jess, wait, who's who's this? Uh, score dreamer Miss Jessica can't answer right now. She's hurt. We're trying to heal her up. Huh? What? What happened? One of those pink blobs from around the city managed to get inside our house and she got attacked. Aww, the security guys, uh, worrying about her. I'm actually worried about everyone else's safety. We need to counter measure from inside the city. I, uh, I know I have no authority over humans as a king of monsters. I'd like to ask you a favor. Mm, of course, I'm asking a favor. If you know a safe area where everyone can gather together and focus our defenses there, please convince your superiors to do so. Yeah. I was actually thinking the same thing. Jess told me yesterday it'll be okay, but I think this issue is bigger than we thought. Than what we thought. My men will set up a perimeter around the school and the area. Does that sound okay? Yeah. Uh, the tutorial doesn't sound right, but yes, please, that'd be preferred. Absolutely not! <sighs> Gathering everyone at the school will make a place bound to receive an attack. There are still children inside. We can't do that. As a queen, I do not approve this measure. As Asgore? I like a little mm -hmm. phone, phone effect. I apologize for the interference. Please proceed with the plot. Ooh, oh, yeah. Roger that. <sighs> How dare you? Please call him back and cancel it this no. instant. With all due respect, Toriel, your role as queen ended when you abandoned our kingdom after our children died. That is true. <laughs> that is true. You have nor you have nor will have authority over this matter anymore. I'm sorry. I'm probably not gonna like that. I don't know why I'm surprised. Hmm. It should be clearly already how little you care for human children at this point. No. You're mistaken, Toriel. Hmm. Unlike you, I've always had the guts to put my kingdom over my own desires and, of course, act on behalf of its well being. Hmm. Okay. Please. Oh, I see the tears. Please take care of Miss Jessica. I'll check on the others. 
And Toriel knows he's telling the truth, but she doesn't want to admit it. Of course. <coughs> Ooh. It's okay if you don't remember the password. It's probably just stress messing with your memory. Is this the true lab? Oh, gas their symbol. Error. Let's try giving Gastor a little of a different voice. No, there's something wrong here. If I said this was my lab, then... Break for open the door. Why do I barely recognize this place? This is a true lab. I need to remember what happened here. Oh, is he... Flashbacks? This was in the trailer. Ooh. Uh-oh. Not great, flashbacks. Yeah, I guess there was one I remember that. Caster, are you okay? He doesn't look okay. Those flashbacks aren't good. Caster! Uh, I'm fine. I just remembered something. We can come back later if you're not feeling well. I like how Papyrus cares so much about him. Oh, well, you got it. Nice. Hex is granted. Yay! Good job, Gaster. You were right. It's probably just stress. Come inside, Papyrus. We need to stabilize him. Oh, you're gonna try stabilizing him, huh? Interesting. Uh, Alright. Still like 26 minutes left or something, I believe. A lot more animation. Suppressed memories. Hmm. Interesting. I like how Sans like is now just wearing that one little shirt. Alright, systems online. Now we just wait for the results. This animation looks so good. Depending on his condition, we'll take action. Oh, it's all like a Gaster's uh, letters. Nice. Papyrus, could you bring me a pen and a notebook? They're in the left side room at the bottom of the halfway. Of the hallway. Why did I say halfway? We all do. <laughs> nice. I like how Papyrus doesn't see how stressed he, he is. I guess you could kind of see it, but I like how he's still trying to help Gaster. Result ready to display on screen, yes or no? Uh, yeah, click the Y button. Yes. Uh oh, he's not gonna like the results. No. Wait, what? What's happening? What's the result? Status subject, health condition falling down, printing. Oh. Hey, are those the results? Yeah. What does it say? Is he okay? Uh, he's not okay. Will he wake up soon? <laughs> no, I guess there's others gonna help you. Or, or why did his screen go off? Oh no, guess I don't snap at Papyrus. The, the machine was overloaded. This place is very old. It was bound to happen. No, you turned it off, you liar. Uh, oh, oh well, what was the result? You're gonna lie. Oh no, he's remembering moments. <laughs> he's fine. No, oh, he lied. It's gonna be a long progress, but but he should be okay. Yeah, I'm so relieved. I could barely feel his soul, so I was a little bit worried. I should still be worried. He's lying. Are you okay? Papyrus, I need to ask you a favor. <laughs> of course, what is it? I need to research some things and then go talk with Asgore. Interesting. If anything happens, that elevator will take you to my lab in the surface. I need you to stay here and watch after your brother. Um, what if you let me help? I'm great at finding things. Papyrus. What if I help you organize what you find? Uncle Papyrus is so much trying to help him. No. What if you tell me? We said no. Oh no. Oh no. Gaster, you're making him scared. Oh no. Okay, I'll stay here if that's what you want. Yeah, I guess they realized he made a little mistake. 
Uh, I'll go talk with Asgore. Stay here. Oh, no. Why did you have to snap at Papyrus? He doesn't feel okay now. Poor Papyrus. Oh my gosh. This is amazing so far. Mm. So it's worth the wait. I see. Mm. So her intentions were bad from the beginning. Right, whose intentions? Well, I was still wondering why you didn't tell us. I do, I do understand the reasons for the decisions you made. I, I, I really thought I could manage to do it on my own. I didn't want more people to. Hey, what's Frisk doing? Frisk hair looks hey. pretty cool. It's all right, Frisk. Now that we know what's going on, all of us can help you turn this around in our favor. Yeah, Frisk, tell him about the glitching hand. Considering what you and Undyne tell me, this is no trial we're facing but the result of a twisted mind spell. Ooh, the remembrance of bravery. Its only purpose is to cause chaos. True. So that thing is responsible for the attacks at the school and the entire city. my fault that Ezra oh god Aw, oh, poor don't relive that memory I believe he's still got a chance oh. Gaster oh, I like the outfit he's wearing it's a nice outfit how sins go how sins doing let's not waste time talking discussing that issue that doesn't concern you as core yeah he's obviously really angry we got bigger issues on our hands, and it looks like it'll be up to us to solve it. Mm. What the? As I was mentioning, if I think is correct, there might still be hopes for Azrael and the other monsters this thing has captured. Did that literally just show why Friss is glitching? Because... This is assuming it hasn't destroyed, nor fully drained the souls collected. Mm -hmm. What about the humans? Sadly, Miss Sadly, Miss Toriel, the substance that was used to regenerate Sans' body is 100% magical. Human bodies can't, cannot be regenerated this way. Mm -hmm. Interesting. That's why we must act as soon as possible. It will be up to Asgore and Toil to make out to make Azure break free from this thing's control. Hmm, interesting. If your bond with him is strong enough, he should be able to do the rest. Interesting. The only issue is I have no idea where this thing or where it will appear. Hmm. Well. Actually, though, Miss Jessica's phone, I was able to contact a human that's in charge of the defenses around the city. I told him to set a safe perimeter around the school and the area so humans and monsters can use the place as a refuge. Okay, cool. That makes things easier for us then. This thing is attracted to populated places. It'll more likely appear at one of these locations. Okay, interesting. Yeah. We can probably split, but if we were to choose that, I'd say the area where we should now be next, considering the school is already attacked. Yeah, so he's gonna appear in that area next because the school's gonna attack. Toriel, Frisk, and I can go to the, the arena while Undyne and Gas are taking care of the school. Okay. No. I'm not going. Alright. I will leave Papyrus alone to look after the wounded here. Oh, you're gonna help Papyrus out? He's not fit for fighting, and I imagine Miss Undyne will be more than enough to handle things at the school. Very well then, if this thing happens to appear at the school, Undyne might be able to do something for Miss Alphys. Hmm, interesting. Mm. Yeah, Asgore seems happy about it. If what Gaster says is correct, you might be able to help her break free from her control as well. Uh, no, Alphys was killed, how would you help? I... I don't... What was that? Uh, what was that? Need to go right now. I'm not sure who said that, but okay. Tutorial did. Hey, what was that? What the heck was that? Oh no. Who's that? Uh oh. Oh, that pink blobs. I'll kill the human. Where was that? Over 
here. Oh, that's the security yeah. guard guy. Get to school as fast as possible. Oh my gosh, the pink blobs are even around the whole city? Dang. I'll deal with these things. Nice. Go humans. Ah, oh, yeah, go humans. Security guard. We won't let you destroy the city. Yeah, don't let them destroy the city. Come on, you got the you got the security guy. I don't know your name, sadly. Oh, there's Betty on top of the city. That's a really cool city, though. Oh, that's really creepy. There they are. Uh oh. I don't like. I do not like that face. Guess I'll say. Ooh, that's really cool. Uh oh. Oh, that's so freaking creepy, man. I do not like that. The tutorial's like, what, what the heck is that? Oh, yikes. Yeah. No, oh, this is not good. Yeah, I don't like Betty at all. Oh, apparently, that's not, that's not a young ass score. Okay. That's regular ass score. Dang, Betty is really powerful of, that, of Akumu. As excited as I am to fight all of you, I'm here to fight Frisk and finish what I started. Aww. As for you two, I made a special treat. Oh no, Azrael. Azrael's not gonna be easy to fix because there's so much hate. Ooh, dang, that's so cool. He's very angry with you for how you treated him in the past. Uh oh, that does not look good. Azrael! My child, please! I promise I won't ever leave you alone! Yeah, it's gonna be so much harder to get uh, Azrael back. Please come back to us! Yeah, he's... He's not gonna forgive you that easily. He's thinking of flower memories. Leave me? Just how you abandoned your father? In your kingdom when everyone needed you the most? Oh my gosh. Instead, you run away from your responsibilities? How hypocrite can you get? No wonder I don't feel anything for you anymore. Oh my gosh, the hate is so bad. Oh no! no. Toriel! Toriel! Frisk, look behind you. Mm. Come on, fight Betty. There you go. I remember listening to this music for the SOT. Oh my gosh. Oh? Why are you scared? Is it because I've got a new look? Or is it because you know you can't win this battle? Probably both. I'm not scared of how angry... I'm not scared of an angry boy anymore. I know all your tricks now. Oh no, that's not good. Yeah. But he does know a lot of our first tricks. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Oh, that's so cool. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. He's attack. There's things are all new attacks. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's from Azrael? Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Ow. Azrael, stop! My, my son, please! Shut up. Do you know why did I die? Because I didn't want to kill the humans that were attacking me. Because I didn't... Oh, I never heard of that. Oh, dialogue, sorry. And when I got to see you again, you already murdered six of them in cold blood. Wow, I knew I was really uh, pissed off just because the old man wanted to throw a fit. Now I get to show you how cold-blooded I am. Uh-oh. No, Asgore! Asgore! No, don't kill Asgore. Uh-oh. Ow! That's gotta hurt. Ow. No, Asgore. Azor doesn't feel no remorse at all. Is Azor gonna die here? Uh oh. Frisk is attacking Azor back. <laughs> Azor, Toriel. We have to leave. Wow, they're really powerful. I don't like this. Oh, 
that he's actually doing really good. We can't leave. I will leave Ezra when he needs us. There's nothing you can really do. Well, whatever you did is clearly useless, Toriel. We'll think of something later, or do you want to get us all killed? What makes you think I'll let you escape? I bet he's not gonna let you escape. Try me. I gotta say, ending this too quickly would be boring. Oh my gosh. So try not to die on your way out. Betty is so freaking scary. I'm actually scared of Betty now. Hey, what, what did Betty do to Ezreal? Uh-oh. There's a lightning beam on this. Run! Ow, that's gotta hurt. Oh no, Frisk. Oh my gosh, this fighting scene was so intense. Unfortunately, monsters are experienced with an illness to offer the monsters of us curious of the age of life down the bottom of those bottom snakes called falling down. A person who's fallen down will soon perish. There's no cure to this state or no way to invert it. Oh no, so you can't invert sands? Aw, oh, come on, guess I believe in you. Uh oh. Here, sit down slowly. Oh no, Asgore got stabbed in the chest. Asgore. Hey. Don't worry, Gaster, I'll be fine. No, it doesn't look like you're fine. That's... That's what's gotta hurt. I'm sorry, Toriel. I couldn't do much. Oh my gosh. Please don't say that. I'm the one who should be apologizing. Oh my gosh, the tears. No. What are we doing? What are we going to do, Asgore? If he doesn't listen... Frisk is not happy. We can't lose him again. Mm. If we do, I won't be able to stand it. Aww. Poor, poor Toriel. Aww. Of course they're crying. They want their son back. And Betty is so mm. powerful now. Gaster. I need to talk to you. I need to talk with you. So same thing. Uh-oh. I think Frisk is probably reverting back. I think the glitching is now understanding that Frisk is trying to stop from completely turning to genocide form. Mm. Oh, I want to see this. Frisk. Animation is so great. Are you sure about this? I think they already talked to him. If you are, I need something in return from you. Mm. What? Okay. Back in the underground, and I found about multiple. And I found about multiple of your experience. I know one that failed because it was fueled by determination. Is something you lacked of back then. Oh, interesting. I need you to recreate what you tried to do. Oh, interesting. But I'll use the power of my soul to make it work this time. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. You mean this experiment? <laughs> I like Frisk's eyes. Oh no. I can see why. You're trying to fix your condition, right? Yeah, Frisk definitely needs to get fixed the condition that Frisk is in. Frisk is not doing good. I suppose, though, success would mean transporting you to a hellish landscape with little to no hope of return. Especially considering the shape you're in. No, I don't want Frisk to disappear. <laughs> this is like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I see. That being said, this will be very, very interesting. I want to see how this goes. I think Frisk is definitely prepared for it. Frisk. Frisk. Uh-oh. Oh, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Good luck. Well, I'm really interested to see what happens. Frisk is in darkness. Frisk? Frisk. Oh, it's Kara! I haven't seen Kara in a while. Kara! Uh oh, that's a punch. <laughs> that's for using your hate on me, turning me into a psycho murderer. Aww. <laughs> Why are you here? I, I 
came to ask you a favor. Oh, I didn't know this would happen. What makes you think I have any intentions to help you? I feel I shouldn't have to remind you who abandoned me here. Aww. Or who played with everyone's lives countless times just for fun. I convinced everyone that I was a bloodthirsty murderer to protect their own innocence. I know I don't even have the right to ask something from you. But the people we both care about are in danger and I can't do this alone. Mm. Why don't you do what you do best and just reset? I can't. You broke the reset button. I destroyed the reset button. I'm not allowed to save or load anymore. Yeah, that's true. If this timeline gets erased, I don't think we can get the same results. I don't want to go through that again either. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't want to. Oh. My car understands a little bit better now. I like seeing Kara again. We haven't seen Kara again in a while. I can't even leave you guys alone for a moment without Emmett in the thread of the timeline interact. I, I can't read her lines. I'm sorry, guys. I can't read any lines today. I guess to your credit, it's a month longer than when I fought you last. <laughs> yeah, I was never good at decision making. <laughs> yeah, first wasn't a good at decision making. So you admit you suck? <laughs> yeah, I suck. <laughs> oh my gosh. And that you guys need me. I like how Camille did that. Yeah. Oh. I've got a plan. I can't really fix the timeline the way it is right now. Mm, interesting. So I want you to take my place. Ooh, Kara's gonna take first place? And let me guess, you take my old place as some kind of very sassy ghost that would insult me every few seconds? Oh, that would be funny. I really liked it. Yeah, pretty much like that. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. Very well, then. If, is, if this is the best you can come up with. I accept. Oh, I want to see Kara in action. Then take this. I didn't expect this would happen. Ooh, Kara. We get to see Kara again? That'd be awesome. Normal Kara? I did not expect this at all. I'm really liking this. Oh, look at that. Now Kara's got the power. Okay, then. Let's not waste more time. You still need to explain everything that's happened so far. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I like this so much! That won't be necessary. You'll receive all my memories shortly. You'll receive all my memories shortly. What do you mean? Oh, that's why you, you pass the trait down. Kara, I'll be honest. I'll be able to go back with you. What? What? But you said it'd be like the old timeline, just how I followed you around the, around the underground. It could have been like that, but... Oh no, he's first gonna die? You're glitched. Oh no. If I enter the timeline again, it'll eventually collapse and erase itself anyways. No! And it's not up to me to save Azrael. You're the only one he'd listen to. But what... But then, what's going to happen with you? Death. It doesn't matter. It does matter! We like you, Frisk! You won't remember any of it. Nobody will. Oh no! Frisk! Wait! Oh no! So now it's all Kara. No. Oh no. I couldn't even give them the happy ending I promised.
Tusk is crying. Oh no. Please, Kara. No! Keep the promise I, I made for me. Oh no. I wonder how Azrael and... How Azrael, Toriel, and Asgore are gonna apply to Kara though. Is Frisk gone now? Is Of course Camila is gonna do a death. Keep my promise. Oh no, Camilla's gonna go live a cliffhanger here, isn't she? No, Camilla! Why do you live a cliffhanger here? Of all places you could live a cliffhanger, you have to leave one here. No! Why, Camilla? You have to leave a cliffhanger. Why you do this, Camilla? This episode was amazing, though. I did not expect Frisk would be the person dying, because I figured probably Camilla would kill somebody off and shots to Nyx's shield, and Camilla Quavers would be in that mission, and also Strix, or whatever his name is, are doing the sound. I was just a little sound checked and Devin Dove, my last, uh, car <laughs> Kara's theme. Why you have to end up there? Or there's something after the credits? But we got something else. Oh, it's this. I remember this. Some of that like 40 second video she uploaded. Oh, this is, uh, no, I remember. I remember the jump scares, what's gonna happen. I know exactly where a jump scare is gonna happen. Right here. Right there. There you go, yeah. Yeah, right there, and another one. Yeah, glitching. There you go, yeah, right there. Yeah, it's apparently like Azrael doing a lot of like, I'm um, fighting. Frisk needs me. Oh, that memory is being forgotten. Now it's Kara. Oh my gosh. Anything else out there? Have you ever thought about a world where everything is exactly the same? Not really. That'd be interesting though. Except you don't exist. Don't do jump scare, Camellia. The thought terrifies me. Who's talking here? I forget what kind of text sounding is that. But the sounds of this wind, though, is creepy. Thanks for watching. Hey, at least you spelled Glitch Tail, right? In the last episode, it was Glitch Tail. She spelled Glitch Tail wrong. I realized that. I was like the only person who actually realized she spelled Glitch Tail right. But guys, think of me like, wait, why do you gotta end it off there? And why do you have to kill off Frisk out of all people you could have killed off? Oh, but it's gonna be so interesting to see Kara again, though. Like, seeing Kara is very interesting. So, like, the thumbnail was actually showing, um, not the reset on um, the screen. It was showing, like, um, Frisk about to change to Kara. That's so interesting. But why you gotta kill Frisk off out of all people you could have killed off? Give me, like, wait, this. I mean, I'm really excited to see what happened with, what will happen with Kara, but why? Of all people, you have to do is freaking kill off Risk and freaking Asgore is injured now, too. And now, oh my gosh, and now we find out that Sans is probably not gonna be revived as easily. I mean, Gas is probably gonna try his best to revive him the best he can, but it doesn't seem like it'll be extremely easy. Oh my gosh, this episode was amazing, though. But I didn't, definitely did not expect that freaking uh, oh no, not Asriel. I did expect probably Azrael to probably be, um, definitely, I did expect probably that Betty would probably use all the hate on Azrael or do something bad to Azrael, you know. And Azrael freaking stabbed Asgore and did not feel no remorse doing it. And all the hate that, Az that Azrael had toward Asgore and Azrael, oh my gosh, that was insane, man. Like, oh my gosh, dang. Well, uh, how, would I, how would I rate the episode? Like, animation was phenomenal. Camila Cuevas did an amazing, amazing job of animation. I could probably see why this took six months now. Like, definitely doing, like, animations that are around, like, 30-something minutes long. That still takes a long time. Even if it's not, like, the greatest animation in the world. Camila Cuevas did some really good animating in some of those parts, though. I'm really interested to see how Camila Cuevas is going to do another, like, um, Betty fight. Like, with Betty with Akuma with her now. Like, the freaking Betty and Akuma. Well, that was freaking scary as hell, man. Like, oh my god. Like... Betty, like, Betty looked like us, like, a little scary before, but freaking Akuma, I did not think Akuma would stab Betty and then freaking kind of, like, go into Betty's body. I did not expect that at all, and then I didn't even think Betty would probably, probably, uh, I'm probably sure Betty probably has some new attacking movesets in. I'm definitely guessing also Azrael's movesets are probably going to be a lot stronger, too, since Azrael has a lot of hate, you know? 
Oh, man, this episode was so interesting. I also found it interesting that, like, a Gaster had, like, those flashbacks um, before. I found that um, pretty interesting, too. What else did I find interesting? Like, how, like, Asgore, like, when, like, um, Azrael wanted to, like, um, stop Asgore from, like, having the plan of, like, a people, like, um, evacuating um, to the school and then, like, I'm um, saying that, like, Asriel, like, it... Oh my gosh, I keep saying Azrael, I mean Toriel, I'm so sorry guys, I'm obviously, as you can see, I am tired, but I still find it interesting that, like, how, like, definitely Asgore brought up a good point of, like, Toriel saying that you're not, like, the queen anymore, like, you kind of, like, abandoned that role, like, before, you know, but, yeah, not much really else to say, this was a really good episode, and I really liked it, I'd probably give it, like, around a 9 out of 10, like, it's not, like, really, like, the perfect episode, though, but it was definitely, like, I, I believe it was definitely, like, a good wait for, um, waiting, uh, for for so long and i remember like why did you have to show that scene of all scenes you literally just upload that scene on your youtube already but i guess you could still show it again i wish i would have saw like um a little something afterwards like showing like uh like kara on a meeting well actually no that, that I actually wouldn't change because literally since you're just kind of like replacing um kara with Friss, like literally like it, it would literally be like Kara then instead of Frisk, because frankly there's gonna be no reaction of Kara returning, you know. And frankly, Gaster is just gonna Gaster's probably just gonna remember like, yeah, that, that's gonna be interesting. How this is gonna work out? I wonder like how Azrael's gonna definitely react. I really wonder how Azrael's gonna react to seeing Kara again, because frankly, Azrael was so sad like in season one, episode five, that like Azrael like left. Oh my gosh, why do I keep saying the wrong names? I'm so sorry. Like, like Azrael was so sad that Kara, like, was left. So I'm wondering how, like, Azrael is going to, like, um, hopefully Kara will be the reason why. I mean, probably there's definitely going to be bloodshed and probably even some tears in the moment. There was definitely a lot of tears in this episode. But I really wonder how that's going to really work out. I wonder how they're... I wonder if how they're actually eventually ever going to actually kill Betty. I really wonder, like, all these, like, different things. But this episode definitely answers some questions that Sans is probably not going to be revived as easily... And, like, what Azrael was probably going to do, like, with uh, Azrael's soul. And now we obviously saw what was going to happen to Azrael's soul. And all these other things that were answered, too. And what's also pretty interesting is that, like, I'm not sure how Undyne, like, is going to be with us, too. I mean, like, the Undyne animation was pretty good, too. But, like, how, how Undyne is going to do at the school. Be because, well, you know, Undyne, like, is scared to attack things now because... Undyne is worried that, like, probably Undyne's gonna accidentally kill someone else. And I found it was interesting that Undyne still hasn't told Asgore, like, that, like, you cannot revive Alphys. I mean, if there's, like, some way how you can really like, revive her somehow, that'd be amazing. But I'm pretty sure you can't revive Alphys, though. Which is so sad. Like, like it's cool that you can rev revive Sans, and probably, I think, next episode, you're probably gonna try reviving Azrael, but you cannot revive Alphys because, frankly, Undyne threw a spear through his heart, and the heart freaking cracked, and, and freaking Kumu didn't eat uh, Alphys' heart at all, so there's no way how to get Alphys back. Oh my gosh, though, and, like, freaking uh, sound effects, uh, some music, and especially the animation, Camellia Quay, this was a definitely, I believe it was worth the way. Um, please tell me what you guys think uh, if, if this was worth the way, and... Yeah, I don't really have much else to say. You guys can tell me your thoughts of what you um, think is going to be uh, happening for the next episode. And I think if you um, thought that some of the questions were answered in this episode and you are very interested to see what will happen like with Kara and Azrael and um, see if actually if Frisk is completely dead. I think Frisk is definitely completely dead. That's so sad how Frisk had to go. So now apparently Glitch Tales is going to have Kara instead now. Hopefully it's actually going to be good Kara. I believe, yes, it will be good Kara, but... I haven't seen Kara in a while. We did not think actually Kara would come back, but freaking Kara came back, man. That's so cool. So please tell me your thoughts. Like, if you think, like, uh, you, you're excited to have Kara instead of Frisk and see how, uh, like, all this is going to go down. I'm not sure how long it's going to take that for the next episode or, like, did she already, like, animate? I'm pretty sure this is definitely episode five and it's probably going to, um, probably going to take another month of break and start working on it again. And I'm probably going to have to wait around probably till like, December or something or November. So it's definitely probably going to be some time before she makes the next episode, sadly. But still a really good episode. I really liked it. I hope you guys have enjoyed my reaction in some way. I try reacting the best I can. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.